As a result of this, it produces a whole different chronology that I refer to as timeline B, a parallel timeline. It is a different parallel possibility that would not otherwise exist if there is no information going backwards in time. And then, because of these coordinates, the movie tells us that Cooper and Murph go to NASA's secret base. He's then introduced to the mission. Eventually, he goes to space, and Murphy cries. But she becomes a physicist anyway. But hold on, there's still one more significant event here. Recall that previously inside the Tesseract, not only that Cooper sends the coordinates, he also sends the quantum data to Murph. As some of you may have guessed, that's actually Cooper from the origin timeline, or timeline A. This would allow Murphy to solve the gravity equation, thanks to Cooper A's assistance. But at this point, you might be wondering, what happens to Cooper B in this chronology? My strong view is that in this timeline B, Cooper dies while descending into the black hole. Here's one of the compelling arguments why I could say that. When Cooper enters the black hole, he is panicking, and his heavy breathing is interrupted by a few gasps. He is passing away. But do you know what happens next? We cut to the shot of his son back on Earth. Keep in mind that Dr. Mann says this line, somewhere in the movie. The last thing you're gonna see before you die, your children. I've got one more proof that I'll show you later, so stick around and let's unravel the rest of the timeline.